What's going on YouTube? Coach Marcus Hodges here with Separation Team Basketball. And today I want to talk about some of the top ball handlers in the world. Right now we see the Trey Youngs, we see the Darius Garland, we see Kyrie, we see Steph Curry. These guys can all handle the ball at an elite level. Not just handle, but they're able to get into and create their shots, which is crazy. But today I want to talk to you how to create that Steph Curry handle. All right, so I want to take a couple, couple things I've seen on Steph Curry's workouts, some things we've seen actually in the game, how it can help you develop that great hand-eye coordination, because that's one of the qualities that Steph Curry has that I think takes his game and his handle to another level. Some you don't want to miss, you already know, man. Let's get it. So Steph Curry, as you see in this workout right here, he's a very innovative skill work guy. He's not gonna do just a traditional workouts. He likes to add different objects, different tools. Here at Tennis Ball, where it's gonna help you work your hand-eye coordination. But what I like to tell my athletes, can I do something with one hand and something completely different with the other hand? That's what's gonna help that hand-eye coordination and to have that ball pretty much on a string. So right now to start us off, all I wanna do is have my feet wider than my shoulders, I wanna bend from my hips. I want a hard but relaxed uh, dribble right at my hip level. And as I'm dribbling the ball, I have that tennis ball in my hand. All I wanna do now is drop and snatch. But notice with a lot of players, this is what you will see happen. As they do something with the other hand, the dribble hand is affected. I want that same dribble, that same rhythm almost the entire time. For video purposes, I'll go about 10 seconds. You guys out there would love 15 to 25 seconds before you switch. Notice that rhythm is staying the same. I'm dropping and snatching. The ball's being dribbled above my hip. I wanna make sure I'm always keeping my wrist down. As my wrist is down, I'm almost simulating me slapping a defender's hand or pushing or striking the defender's hand out of the way. So once you guys get past that, now it's gonna be a self-toss. So my wrist is gonna go up and then I'm gonna snatch down aggressive. So have this more relaxed and then be aggressive on the snatch down. So the dribble's gonna stay the same. I'm up, boom, more aggressive. Boom, more aggressive. Relax up, be able to snatch it down and be aggressive. You're not gonna be perfect every rep, but try to make sure you're going aggressive and that tennis ball is being tossed right around your waist every single time. This is gonna help your hand-eye coordination right here. Also gonna help your dribble timing. Once again, now still in that same stance, but I really wanna over-exaggerate my hips. So I'm almost like in this position here. I want fingertip dribbles. I almost want you to lock out your elbow. I want fingertip dribble. That's gonna be quick. And I also want your drops now to be quick. Make sure you actually let go of that tennis ball Make sure you're not just here, let go of the tennis ball quickly. So I'm here and I'm letting the tennis ball go as quick as I can and those fingertips are going. Once you get a couple reps there, switch to the opposite side. Now in this next set, I want you to throw the tennis ball against the wall. And as I'm releasing the ball against the wall, before the tennis ball comes back, I need to have a crossover, and we're still gonna work on just that snatch. So once again, being able to do something with one hand and still have a ball and a string on the other. And as soon as I cross, I gotta be able to snatch. With this, there's a, there's a lot of different variables. You gotta make sure to not throw the tennis ball too aggressive, but also not too light. But play through your mistakes. Every wall, every tennis ball will be different. Once you start to get here, try to make sure your crossover is always aggressive and your tosses are aggressive enough to where that tennis ball is coming back to you. Not too high to your face, but once again, right around your wrist, because work uh, right around your waist, excuse me, because working with tools, you gotta make sure to keep things realistic. I see a lot of players catching here. I love that they're working out, but understand how often are you doing this movement in the game compared to more of always snatching and grabbing here. Next series. I'm just throwing the ball on the wall again, but now I'm gonna add it between the legs. Make sure once again, you split your feet, don't go forward. It's gonna mess up your timing. Let's not go back, because you might not throw a tennis ball hard enough. Keep your space, splitting my feet and then replace. So once I toss the medicine ball on the wall, I wanna make sure to split my feet, but also once again, you gotta find out how hard you need to throw the ball on the wall 
so that ball comes back to you every time. Another variable we can control right now is just your level of low. So the tennis ball that you have, be able to have a turn and step, and I'm placing the tennis ball down. So I wanna now be able to turn and step, place the tennis ball down, and then I'll have one reset dribble, and I'll go between the legs and I gotta pick it up. So there'll be two moments you gotta be low. This isn't gonna be hand-eye coordination, this is gonna just help that level of low. Really just gonna add another level to your handle since you're able to play at different levels. So we're going to it. Under drag, boom. Right into it. Under drag, relax. Then I'm getting low to pick up. Under drag to put it down. Boom. Then be able to pick up. Make sure we're splitting our feet. If I want to just float into it, I can. Make sure we're working both sides as well with that. Turn to get low. I can relax. Boom. I got to get low again with our handle. Once again, you don't always have to be robotic you can find different ways to improve your handle. Once you start adding different levels of low, the wall drill, the bounce, the self-catch, then you can add all three levels. Not just levels of low, but I can add a bounce to a move, snatch and catch. I can go down and play low, be able to get down. I can toss it, make a move and pick it up. That's what's gonna help your handle. Really take it to the next level and just add that confidence. You wanna be a confident ball handler, or if you have a double team, an aggressive defender, it doesn't really matter because you believe in the work you've put in. You believe in, I'm able to get out of the situation with my handle and my basketball IQ. If this is the type of stuff you guys like to see, let me know in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Man, we got a lot of uploads coming. I'm talking about from ball handling to shooting to basketball IQ. Make sure you download that app as well. Got some really good stuff. Coach Marcus Hodges, Separation Team. You already know, man. Let's get it.